what's up my creative people welcome back to lady ash tv i am lady ash today i'm bringing you a video on how to create a vision bottle now what you're going to need for this project is um you're going to need a, a bottle you're going to need soap and water um white paint glue newspaper paintbrush and scissors So the next thing you do, you want to wash your bottles um, using soap and water to get the dust off it and you want to make sure that they're nice and clean and lay them out to make them air dry. After you have washed your bottles, the next step is to mix some acrylic paint that you may have bought from the hardware store. Um, you can use regular acrylic paint that you use on the wall or you can use your art paint. The preparation of the bottle is pretty easy. I use a white surface brush to cover as much of the bottle as I can using the acrylic white paint. This will give the glue a surface to adhere to as well as allow the newspaper to sit nicely on the bottle now the process of upcycling is basically recycling an item and adding value to it so like you upcycle your life you add value to your life every day you're going to add some value to an empty rum bottle by putting your dreams and your goals on it and making it a useful tool to help you to manifest your goals. So a vision bottle is basically a vision board on a bottle and it's basically the same process that you would employ when making a vision board that you would a vision bottle. The goal for this particular activity was really to get persons to put power words on the bottles because the workshop we in the workshop we would have a limited time to do this um, so we would use the decoupage technique to adhere strips of newspaper to the base of the bottle and then we would find words to put on top of that um, to create our vision bottle the whole process of having a vision board or a vision bottle is to, to put your goals and dreams in a visual context. So you're putting your goals um, using words in this instance to represent the things you need to do, the words that remind you of your goals and dreams, the actions that you need to take, how you want to feel, and that will be your empowerment for going forward and manifesting your dreams. Um, for a traditional vision bottles, you could also use pictures to represent where you want to go, places you want to see, things you want to achieve, etc. So um, it's twofold and it basically will, will work just the same way that a vision board would work. So you want to think about your goals, you want to have smart goals for your vision. So you have to think about your goals you have to make them smart you have to make them specific measurable attainable realistic and time bound So the next step is to 
get strips of newspaper together you can use color blocks on the paper to have a little color dimension to your bottle or to add color to your bottle so it's a little bit interesting I suggest you read the articles that you're tearing up to put on your bottle so that they are empowering the next thing is you need to adhere small strips of paper to the bottle by applying glue to the base of the bottle and then you put the strip down and then you glue down the edges so that the paper is firmly affixed what I like to do is I like to glue um, a little section of the bottle first and then I go ahead and add the paper to it after and then I can move much faster that way so um, it's really up to you how you feel comfortable and what your technique will be you do not ha have to tear the paper you can actually cut it if you want into small um, pieces using decorative scissors you can get a nice effect on it um, you can you know take several approaches to creating your vision bottle we're just using the decoupage technique um, because we, ha we are having a large workshop and a number of persons are going to be passing through and we don't want to do an elaborate style bottle and with the decoupage it's easy because we just put a base on the bottle and then we put the empowering words on top which will be easy and will give a lot of persons an opportunity to actually create the bottle in the short time frame that we have I really am I'm excited about creating the vision bottles from the newspaper um, so it's a Sunday so we'll be using the Sunday Gleaner persons will be actually buying the Sunday Gleaner and they'll be reading it and choosing an important article and choosing pictures and different things that they want on their bottles and then they will design it from there so this is really really a therapeutic exercise and it also offers you the opportunity to think about your life and where you want it to go and some of the things you want to experience and how you want to feel I would encourage persons to put a lot of action words on the bottle so that when they see it they are motivated to get up and go and do something amazing with their life so go ahead and just add paper all the way um, around the entire bottle as a base and then you will um, apply your images and your words afterwards let me give you an example of a smart goal if you want an increase in monies in your life don't say for a goal I want more money what you need to say is specifically how much more money do you need so here is a smart goal around money that you could use you would need a specific amount of money so you either can use a percentage to say I want 10% 20% 50% more off a certain amount or you can say I want to realize five million dollars more whatever it is it has to be a specific amount it has to be measurable so um, you at any given point throughout the period of assessment you are able to tell whether or not you are meeting that goal and where you are um, in relation to achieving it it has to be attainable so it must be you must be able to um, realize this money whether it's by working a part-time job a side hustle getting a salary increase or getting a promotion but it must be attainable um, it must be realistic so um, if you know that it takes uh, say you're investing your money you know that you get X percent um, on your investment you can't write down a goal that is going to require a 50% interest on the money that you have when in reality it's usually 3 to 5% that you would get so it has to be realistic and finally it has to be time bound so when you make that goal you have to say by a certain time by the end of the year by August 31st it has to be very clear 
what the time um, time limit is for achieving that goal. So there is my finished bottle and the next step is to start my workshop. So we started our workshop at the Glean at the Jamaica Rum Festival and we had participants coming through designing lovely bottles amazing bottles they took this to another level you saw where persons got real creative and they were just in their element some persons didn't know where to start but they just went with it and amazingly they ended up with a tool that was perfect for them in achieving their goals and realizing their dreams so um, let let us just look at some of the finished products and talk to some of the participants from the event speaks about my investment in my future, my goals and aspirations, wealth management, um, power, cash, money, and all the things that are going to make 2020 and beyond great for me. And thanks to Lino for this great opportunity. How will you use your bottle? My bottle? I'm actually going to use it, um, I'm going to place it in the center of my table as a reminder every day, look at it and yeah. I am Sherry Well, my vision bottle, I had no clue, right, and I was confused as hell, and I didn't know what to do, so I just go and pay some people, pay some, and it just come out like this. <laughs> I love food, I love food, and I, I'm very real, um, I need to be focused more, and of course I'm Jamaican, and I love music, and you know you can't forget the rum, yes. and Gleena always keep us informed, yes, yes, and Education is the key, you know, everybody has to keep healthy. Um, I love art, love everything about art, career, and we need to invest. We need to invest. Yay! Yay. So that's the practice experience. Yes? Um, something that I did in primary school, but we forget now. It's memories. Lovely. What's on your bottle? What's on your bottle? Oh, well, it's a, a reggae team. Jamaica, Jamaica focus, Jamaica I care. This is another good example of just um, following your heart, following your dreams. Um, when I was engaged by the Dino to do an activity at the Rome Festival, I really did not know what I was going to do. But being an upcyclist, I said, well, of course, let us use um, used empty rum bottles and just use recycled newspaper to make vision bottles and just focus on getting powerful words on the bottles that will encourage you throughout the year to stay focused and to follow your heart and to follow your dreams and get excited when you see the words and so we have seen quite a number of persons passing through our workshop today they come through and they have made their bottles and they are gone and some person just came by to just look on and be inspired by others doing their vision but it's really a pleasure to work with the RJR communications group and the Jamaica Rum Festival